Explosions, both natural and artificial, have literally shaped our world. As a point of comparison, Russia has claimed that its father of all bombs detonated in 2007 had a blast yield of 50 tons of TNT. If true, it would be the most powerful non-nuclear bomb ever built. This detonation doesn't come even close to making this list. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. N1 Rocket Explosion The Soviet Union's N1 heavy lift rocket blasted off on its second launch attempt on July 3, 1969, 17 days before the Americans landed on the moon. However, a loose bolt set off a chain of events that ended in the world's largest non-nuclear man-made explosion. The N1 program was originally studied in 1959, two years before Yuri Garrigan became the first man to go into space, during a time when the Soviet space program had an advantage over the Americans. Developed to participate in the race to the moon with NASA's Saturn V rocket, the Soviet N1L3 heavy lift rocket was 105 meters tall and weighed 2,788 tons when fully loaded. However, the N1 program was put on hold in 1961 when US President John F. Kennedy promised that his government would provide NASA with as much funding as needed to land an American man on the moon within a decade. Meanwhile, Sergei Karlev, the brilliant engineer and designer behind the Soviet space program, was given a tiny sum of money to start the project in order to raise additional money for N1. Carl tried to persuade the top brass that such a strong heavy lift rocket could also carry nuclear warheads as large as the Star Barber, which was launched in October 1961. Even so, the military's high brass was skeptical and paid little attention to N1. Development was difficult and underfunded, and it only got worse when Korolev died in 1966. N1 was completed three years later and consisted of three stages that would deliver the L3 lunar payload into the low Earth orbit, along with two cosmonauts. The first stage was dedicated to translunar injection, the second to mid-course adjustments, lunar orbit insertion, and lunar surface descent and the third to a safe return to Earth. A loose bolt broke a fuel pump when N1 took off for the second time in July 1969, causing the automated engine control to shut down 29 of the 30 rocket motors in mid-flight. The explosion of over 2,500 tons of liquid oxygen and kerosene with a force of 7 kilotons caused an 18-month delay in the Soviet space program. The four attempts to launch N1 were all unsuccessful. The second failed catastrophically, becoming the world's largest non-nuclear explosion. In 1974, a fifth launch was postponed and the project was formally scrapped two years later. In 1976, it was revealed years later N1 would go down in history as one of the most egregious space race disasters. Tsar Bomber The Soviet Union exploded a nuclear device at one of the most tense periods of the Cold War. Kazuki Namat, which means we will show you, is the name of a nuclear weapon. The bomb was also known as Sarbama, or Emperor of Bombs, and it was the most powerful nuclear explosive ever exploded on the world when it went off on October 30, 1961. Sarbama was an AN-602 bomb that was a version of the RN-202 device that was developed in the mid-1950s when the US possessed nuclear superiority and both bombs were to be used as nuclear deterrents against the Western world. The bomb weighed over 27,000 kilograms and produced more than 50 megatons of TNT, 10 times the combined strength of all conventional explosives used throughout World War II. Only a specially modified Tu-95V release aircraft could carry such a powerful bomb, which was dropped 4,000 meters over the dry nose cape of Severini Island in Russia by parachute. The bomb was so powerful that the fireball rose to a height of 10.5 kilometers and could be seen from 950 kilometers away. It sent a three-time circling shockwave across the globe. Despite the fact that the Tsarbama detonation was meant to be a top-secret detonation for solely scientific objectives, an American KC-135 aircraft dubbed Lightspeed Alpha that was monitoring the region spotted it. The size of the explosion burnt the aircraft's anti-radiation paint. Nevertheless, it returned safely and intact strong proof of the true capabilities of Soviet scientists. As a result of the Sarbama detonation, the United States halted development of its own nuclear device in order to sign the 1963 treaty in Moscow prohibiting nuclear weapons tests in the atmosphere, outer space, and underwater, which would only allow nuclear weapons test destinations to take place underground. 
Thayer impact. The greatest explosion that has touched our planet is thought to have occurred four and a half billion years ago when Earth was supposedly colliding with a Mars-sized protoplanet called, after the fabled Greek giant, who gave birth to the moon goddess Selene. Theia collided with the Earth at a speed of several kilometers per second, resulting in the birth of the moon. According to some hypotheses, a protoplanet dug its iron core into the early Earths and discharged a considerable amount of mantle material, which swiftly solidified into the moon and also readied the Earth for life. The blast produced 30 tons of TNT, which is almost 100 million times more deadly than the explosion that supposedly wiped out the dinosaurs, which scientists claim was 65 million years ago. In scientific circles, the story is known as the massive impact theory, the enormous bang, or the dramatic effect. It has also been proposed by a number of scientists as a possible explanation for the moon's origin. For the first time in decades, scientists may be able to confirm that the concept is correct, according to fresh discoveries that show Thayer's remains are buried deep beneath the moon's surface. This theory is supported by information gained from several investigations of rocks recovered during the Apollo moon landings in the United States. The oxygen isotopes on the moon are comparable to those on Earth, but distinct from those on other solar system objects, according to lunar samples. Other analyses, on the other hand, have suggested that roughly 80% of the moon's composition should be reformed Thayer remnants, which must be significantly different from the Earth's. The number of samples that can be used to study the moon is restricted, but future missions might provide a wealth of information on the science underlying the satellite, including the supposed large impact idea. SN2007BI when a supergiant star 200 times the size of the Sun was blasted apart by uncontrolled thermonuclear explosions, the greatest supernova ever recorded was detected in 2007 by the nearby supernova factory of the U.S. Department of Energy. Stars all burn out at some point, but it doesn't happen in the same manner for everyone. The Sun, for example, will fade away into a white dwarf, while some stars will explode and leave behind a neutron star. Some stars may attempt to burst but will succumb to a black hole due to a lack of adequate force. Others such as SN2007BI detonate without leaving a trace. The explosions that leave no trace are known as PISNE or Pair Instability Supernovae, and scientists believe that this is how the initial stars, also known as POP3 stars, vanished. The SN2007BI is thought to be the first Pair Instability Supernova ever seen. The oxygen core of a supernova generated by a gamma-ray-driven antimatter manufacturing star became so massive that it began to discharge intense photons, creating pairs of electrons and antimatter positrons. The star collapsed as matter and antimatter annihilated each other, causing its oxygen core to ignite in a huge nuclear explosion that decimated the whole star. Except for a supernova a hundred times brighter than a usual one, there were no remains. Despite this, it's thought that SN2007BI was a superluminous supernova. It's also true that as of today, no POP3 stars have been discovered. Gamma Ray Burst Astronomers detected the most powerful and brightest cosmic explosion ever recorded in April of 2013 with an energy of 94 billion electric volts. GRB130427A was a gamma ray burst that created a jet of matter that came near to traveling at the speed of light. Gamma ray bursts are the brightest explosions in the cosmos. GRBs occur when massive stars run out of nuclear fuel and collapse under their own weight, according to NASA researchers. The jets interact with gases released by the star as they explode, creating dazzling afterglows that fade over time. The GRB130427 gamma ray burst, discovered by NASA's SWIFT satellite, was five times more energetic than the previous record holder. It was created when a super-dense star, 20 to 30 times the mass of the Sun, collided with another black hole to make a new one. At 3.6 billion light-years away, the explosion was far closer than typical gamma-ray bursts, allowing it to outshine everything else in the night sky for many seconds. Julia McHenry, a scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt who works on the Fermi Gamma-Ray Satellite Observatory, told the press that we've waited a long time for a gamma-ray burst this astonishingly, eye-wateringly intense. The GRB lasted so long that it was seen by a record number of ground-based telescopes. Simultaneously, space-based observations were continuing. GRBs can result in the appearance of a supernova at the same location a week after the outburst, and Goddard's Neil Garros, the principal scientist for SWIFT, 
said in 2013 that the real push now is to locate a developing supernova that follows virtually all lengthy GRBs at this distance. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channel for more fascinating historical stuff and let us know what you think about all these massive explosions in the comments below. Also, if you want to be alerted when we publish new material, click the bell symbol.